And we're here with Coach Andy Weaver from um, the Plainfield Quakers. And uh, Coach, it's uh, interesting talking to you here is, uh, as, a, as a person that's been around. People that are from the Wabash Valley know Plainfield from postseason. Now we get to see you uh, in the regular season uh, for, the, for one of the first times. So uh, how do you feel about this year's uh, team uh, overall? Well, we're excited about our team. Um, you know, we, uh, we bring back quite a bit from our team from last year, although we did graduate our top two scores, But we bring back 6'8 uh, junior Noah Smith, who averaged in double digits last year. We bring back a sophomore in Harper Baker Lands, who averaged close to 10 points a game last year. Landon Gilliatt's a, uh, a junior guard for us with experience, as well as Trey Barton. Seniors Colton East and uh, Chris Arvanitis. Uh, Chase Wofford up from our junior varsity squad. Isaac Stead up from our junior varsity squad. So we're excited about our team. Yeah, and, and you should be very consistent every year. Uh, of course, 15 wins last year. What were summer workouts like? How, how, are some, how are the guys working over the summer? Well, we, you know, you know, it's summer ball, which is different than winter ball. But sure. we, uh, we, we felt like we made some strides this summer. Uh, again, graduating some pieces. And so just playing together, uh, you know, we played in the Charlie Hughes event in Indianapolis. We went to, uh, we went to some college shootouts at IU and Purdue and uh, Notre Dame. Uh, we went to team camp, so we played quite a bit in the month of June and, and felt like we made progress as we head into the season. And, of course, the bright lights of uh, game action uh, will be on you very soon. Uh, and it's always interesting to see how guys react from practice uh, into game settings. What are the things that coaches can do uh, to help some of the newer players uh, not be so stunned by some of those bright lights? Well, you know, uh, there is nothing like experience for sure, but I think – Putting them in situations uh, where they feel comfortable, uh, you know, try to try to execute what you practiced. Uh, put them out there with, uh, you know, lineups with some experienced players at the same time. Uh, but you know, everybody's in the same boat. Your opponent's in the same boat too. Uh, you know, this the schedule maker for us. We got a very difficult first week. Yes. <laughs> uh, you know, we're at Avon, who's going to yeah. be, you know, a, a, they're a top top ten four A team. Yep. We're on the road uh, the night uh, the night before Thanksgiving, and then, you know, coming to this event, what it attracted to us was, uh, hey, you're going to play a really good team in Park Heritage uh, that won 24 games last year, advanced in the state tournament a long way, and has everybody back. So, uh, but we want it. We want that challenge, uh, you know, for some of the goals that we have as a team uh, and, and who we're going to have to play in the postseason and stuff. We want to play some really good people during the year, and we obviously have that here early. They always say iron sharpens iron, and you mentioned the early season uh, uh, schedule that you have. Um, you guys are going to be hitting the road hard right out the gates. Best of luck to you uh, this season. Look forward to seeing the Gobble Games against, uh, against Park Heritage. All right, thank you.